Well, good evening, everyone. Satsriya Kaal Teji Ayanu. Come on. Yeah. We're celebrating Sikh Heritage Month. Before, uh, before we begin, we'd just like to acknowledge that we are gathered here today on the unceded territory of the Algonquin people. And I just want to also uh, just I'm speaking a little bit of Punjabi here just because Kamala and I have this little rivalry going whose Punjabi is better. Okay, so you're going to be the judge. I think Jetusi Swede part I hung it on a patalaga hona can made in Punjabi is way better than Hajit Paji. Come on, I think on a side and a patahona. No, Shari Punjabi and Miri Pint though, okay? And of course, the celebration this year are particularly special because we are celebrating the fifth anniversary of Sikh Heritage Month right here in Canada. And let me just say, none of that would have been possible, it would have been possible if it wasn't for the incredible leadership of the Sikh Caucus right behind you. And with that, also, in particular, our good friend, we call him our Paji, we call him our uncle, but of course, MP Sok Tariwal, for the leadership he showcased by working alongside all parties and passed a bill in the House of Commons that made Sikh Heritage Month a reality in Canada, the only other country in the world, guys, Canada. I also want to uh, take the opportunity to acknowledge all our ministers and members of parliament uh, who are here today because they represent a very diverse uh, community. And I know when issues of the Sikh community come uh, pop up, they are also alongside us. I want to acknowledge all of them for what they do on uh, your behalf. So thank you uh, to all of you. And, you know, when we talk about the Sikh history in Canada, let's also remember, as the previous speakers have talked about, that has also not been easy. It has been a long road to get to this space and to this time. It is one that was forged through the struggles and pains of our parents, our grandparents, our ancestors, all the individuals, the giants whose shoulders right now that we sit on. And I think that the history and the contributions of our people are so many and touch every corner of our province and our country. But sharing these stories and achievements so that they're not forgotten, we know it takes time, it takes effort, and it takes each and every one of us. And the struggles that we talk about, and many have already talked about it, we have artists who are celebrating um, our culture um, to the world. We've seen now how we get to celebrate hockey in a very unique way where I remember my own mother, she couldn't obviously understand English, but she'd watch the hockey game with us and now finally she can actually understand it. And now more uh, Punjabi Sikh players are uh, getting involved. And one of the things I do want to take the opportunity to acknowledge that in this, just this room alone, that many of you have been part of that legacy to give us this opportunity for us to be in Parliament. I want to acknowledge, it's, there's so many of you to acknowledge, but I know there's many people in the, mil, uh, the police here, military, uh, doctors, lawyers, uh, and the community leaders and mentors uh, to all of us. I want to say thank you. And the other thing I also want to say is, we cannot rest on our laurels. We have a very uh, a vibrant history of sacrifice standing up for others. And we need to celebrate that history, but we need to continue to make this history. So the challenge, to the younger generation, and you are already inspiring us, is what are you going to do to live up to that legacy that our grandparents and um, uh, their generation did for us? We are standing here not only because of them. For us, it was easy. And the reason I say this, just imagine when they came here. Mm -hmm. Imagine the taxi drivers, the, the you know, uh, driving trucks and so forth. But in the past, it was even much more difficult, and you know the history of the Komagata Maru. It's because of their sacrifice. Just imagine the passengers of the Komagata Maru, when they were forced to leave by the regiment that I would command 100 years later. Would they have thought that? Would they have thought that right now would be in Parliament right now? It's because of their sacrifice. And we need to live up to that sacrifice, each and every one of us. And when you talk about the accomplishments of the second Punjabi community, and I think it's really important to reinforce the fact that it is 
Canadian accomplishments that we're talking about. Because when you talk about Sikh history, it is Canadian history. And I think Sikh and Punjabi culture has brought to the forefront of public consciousness in a way that our young girls, younger selves could not imagine. You know, I think of trailblazers like Baltej Singh Tillo, who broke barriers as the first Dasar wearing Sikh RCMP officer. You know, we think of artists like Just Rain, Just Meet Reina, Skaran Ojala, who are making mark in the entertainment history. We think of athletes like R.C. Baines who are living the Canadian dream of being an NHL player. You think of journalists like Neetu and Ramnik who are sharing important stories. But of course, absolutely, a big round of applause to all of them. And I think more importantly, we think of the humanitarians and activists every single day that are working hard and fighting for some of the most vulnerable in our communities and around the world. The list is growing every single day and every single corner in our country. So I just want to take this opportunity again to thank all of you. The SEVA, and now as the Minister of Emergency Preparedness, I see the disasters that are taking place in our country. Almost every disaster you see the Gurdwara taking part, uh, Khalsa Aid, and many other organizations. And that value um, that uh, is what, uh, you know, uh, is what who makes us a six. You are living that. And I just wanted to, again, take this opportunity to thank you for this because this is going to be another bad season and C Canadians are going to need help. And again, it's not just a sick value, it's a Canadian value, as Kamal just said. You know, for those who were there earlier this year, uh, earlier um, in the day when we were had our three-day Akhand Saad part, and it really gave us an opportunity to reflect and talk about, because in Sikhi, you know, we truly are guided by our values. And I think Sikh Heritage Month, we are truly guided by those core values of Sikhi and Guru's teachings every single day. The values of equality, the values of humanity, the values of unity, that we not only overcome the barriers in front of us, but we have helped build a more equitable and inclusive Canada. And this is because the values we know as six, these are the same values that we hold close to us as Canadians. And I think it's so important uh, that we continue on this journey to talk about the work that we're doing, but it wouldn't have happened. It wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for each and every one of you. Because from day one, our community has stood shoulder to shoulder with each and every one of us to make sure we're continuing to paving the path forward for the future generations. And let's not forget the challenges still remain. Yes, it's gotten better. We have succeeded. We have built big, big homes, created industries, become some income in, uh, from the movie industry, music, and other arts, but still challenges remain. And this is something we as a community need to be cognizant of. We have this voice now that is thundering here in Ottawa. We need to make sure that our voice continues because it, it, we as Canadians have that right to have this voice. But it takes a team, it takes effort, and the right team to making sure that we have this voice. And this is a very important one as challenging times that we face right now in our country and even outside. We need to always remember this. How do we make sure that we maintain our voice? How do we make sure that our younger generation, when they come up to make a choice, to break those next barriers, that that voice is going to continue? So your support is absolutely essential. So we cannot rest on our laurels. We need to celebrate our success, but we need to making sure that we continue the Turkey that our uh, generation before us has started. So tonight, on behalf of the government, we want to wish you and thank you for your presence and support as we celebrate Vasaki and Sikh Heritage Month. And it is with that, gives me an immense pleasure to have someone, someone who, ha someone who has always stood shoulder to shoulder with Sikhs across Canada, someone who has had the courage to speak the truth even when others have covered away, and someone who truly embraces our shared values of equality and unity. Please join me in welcoming our Prime Minister, the Right Honorable Justin Trudeau.
Bonsoir tout le monde. Happy Sikh Heritage Month. Happy Vasaki. Merci Kamal et Harj pour cette introduction. Um, it is a real pleasure to be here with you all tonight. It's great to be here with you with our amazing li liberal Sikh caucus and our amazing liberal caucus. Uh, but it's mostly great to see so many of you here tonight come from every corner of the country. Uh, the occasion to celebrate Vasaki, the occasion to celebrate Sikh Heritage Month uh, is an important one. And being able to give a special uh, shout out to Sukh Dhaliwal, who five years ago uh, passed the private member's bill to recognize Sikh Heritage Month unanimously in the House of Commons. It was the first country in the world to recognize Sikh Heritage Month, and it demonstrates the extent to which unanimous passage means all Canadians understand how important this community is uh, to Canada, to Canadians, and to the future we're building every single day. I still remember one of my first conversations with Sukh, with Harj, with others uh, as a young MP, uh, where we talked about the values of Khalsa, the values of Sikhism, uh, and I understood that that principles of service, of compassion, of justice, of respect that are core to Sikhism are actually core aspirational values for all Canadians and for Canada. And that is why Canada has benefited so immensely from all the contributions of the Sikh community and why uh, when we celebrate Sikh Heritage Month, we're really just celebrating Canadian values at the same time. Because Sikh Canadians have been an important part of our history for generations, from working in the lumber mills to logging, forestry and farming, you toiled in the vast land of Canada. Sikh Canadians worked on the railways and they served Canada in the First and Second World Wars. Today, Canada has one of the largest Sikh diasporas in the world, close to 800,000 Canadians of Sikh heritage. But that's why, as was pointed out earlier, Sikh history in Canada isn't just Sikh history. It's Canadian history, and it runs through everything we do together. Sikh Canadians make it clear that diversity truly is one of Canada's greatest strengths. Well, this weekend, people will get together to celebrate Vasaki. As the holiest day of the year in the Sikh faith, Vesakhi marks the creation of Khalsa and the beginning of the spring harvest. This is a moment of practice seva, the act of service. It's a moment to be kind and compassionate, values deeply embedded in the Sikh community. Next week, we'll be releasing Budget 2024, and it's a budget that will be focused on building more housing, creating more jobs, making life more affordable, and helping families get ahead. It's a budget focused on building a better and fairer future for every generation, something that I know matters deeply to this community for whom family and working hard to build a strong future is at the heart of everything you do. My friends, many of you gathered here today have called Canada home for decades. Some of you may have moved here indeed when my father was Prime Minister. You saw the optimism, opportunity and promise that existed on our shores. And every day you help make Canada the country we know and love. And that's why Canada and all Canadians will always stand with you and defend your rights and freedoms as Canadians as you continue every day to make Canada better in so many different ways. We will always defend this community. So together, let's keep breaking down barriers faced by sick Canadians through measures like renewing our anti-racism strategy. Let's continue to stand strong on the world stage for Canadian values and the rules-based order. Let's keep making our country even more inclusive, vibrant, and prosperous. As you all know, Canada is the best country in the world. Let's keep making it even better. Happy Sikh Heritage Month. Happy Vasaki. Vasaki Dian Lak Lak Vadaya. Merci, mes amis.